Hello, Boss World. Welcome to Boxing Block Center. Deontay Wilder has stated that he hopes Alexander Porekin knock Anthony Joshua out. <laughs> Ah, I love in Chinese. Don't water. Not thunder. Go fire, but for the thunder fire brain. This guy no guesses at all. This guy no guesses. So, we all know what water is, right? The guy is just a hater. He's a ghetto boxer. You know, Deontay Wilder is upset right now, emotional, angry, because Joshua didn't buy into into his bullshit. You know, you were given a contract, the contract you requested for, right? You were sent a contract to sign. Before the contract was sent to you, you agreed to Joshua's term. And after you got a contract, you didn't sign it. You delayed it. You stored it. You, you, you stored it. You know, trying to... Make it seem like Joshua doesn't want to fight. The contract right now is still available for you to sign. Why not sign it, Wilder? Because all you want to do is cash out against Anthony Joshua. You know that you will never get a payday like that against anyone. Joshua fighting poverty next. We'd be getting 15 million plus. And you fighting who next? The Brazil? I don't think, I don't know. Maybe. Because the guy will definitely fight uh, a Polish plumber. If he docks Brazil. You know, this guy is a docker. You know what I mean? The guy is a docker. He's all. All talk, no action guy. The guy is a ghetto boxer, you know. He tried to hurt very hard. But according to my own research, Wilder grew up in the street. But he isn't, you know, I mean, a gangster. He's not a gangster. He tried to hurt like one, but he's not. He never robbed a bank. He never robbed the store. He never sold drugs. Wilder is a wannabe gangster. But this this is boxing. The reason why Joshua isn't liked by a lot of Wilder fanboys is because they see the they see Joshua like this is a black guy, right? He had so professional. He talked so professional, just like me. When I talk, some people will say, why am I forming an accent? This I talk when I'm talking to professional people. Because I'm talking to a lot of people around the globe. Thousands of people. When I speak my language, and I'm talking to a group of people from my, my tribe, I, I talk my language in a professional way as well. But if I'm at home with my parents, you know, maybe go visit my father or my mother, then I talk different at a time, you know? It's just how it is. You have to talk professional. You have to be professional. Because you are addressing thousands of people. Thousands of people watch my video. Listen to my voice. Listen to what I have to say. So if I try to address them, 
in a ghetto where that means they will say, "Well, this guy is not professional, right? You got to be, you've got to be professional." So, while we all know what he is, he's an idiot. This guy will lose against a decent boxer. Believe me, one day this guy will lose against a decent boxer. Maybe a bum, he would think, "Okay, I would just knock this guy out in one round." That bum. We surprise Wada with something Wada has never seen before. That is, if he doesn't get knocked out by Joshua first, you know, if he keeps talking Joshua, then one day he will meet a boxer who we expose him. Luis Otis did that. Yeah, Luis Otis was 15, 59 years old. The guy's old, you know. So. But a young guy will be able to expose this guy very easy. And him going against Tommy Brazil, I feel for him to win that fight. But we could see a huge surprise. The guy's a hater. That's what I have to say. The guy's a hater. He's a hater. And we, we call this, this type of people in Nigeria bad belly people. So those type of bad belly people... You have to stay away from them. So, what the, in my opinion, that bad belly guy. And I saw Tata with a fire on the go. That's it for now, guys. Like the video, share. Comment below to give your opinion. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that. Cheers everyone.